welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be talking about social etiquette when teenagers hear social etiquette they go like oh talk to mom talk to dad you feel it's not for you right what is social etiquette because i see you rising to the top of your career i see you being a king a queen i see you being the star that you are how are you prepared for that place how are you prepared for that office okay so what's social etiquette social etiquette is simply how responsible a person should behave in public how civil how civil should you be when you're in public how should you act? How should you carry yourself? It simply means having good manners. So now, you know, people tell you things like, you badly behave, you're badly mannered, and you feel that they don't like you. Do you know that having bad manners can affect you eventually? Okay, so what are the simple things that we can do to show that we have social etiquette? Don't grab things from people's hands in public. Don't scream on the phone. Ah, my God! Wait, you are so in public. Shout in your room. <laughs> then you have things like don't put your fingers in your nose when you're eating. Take small chunks. Ah, ah, ah. You are eating because you are hungry and you're eating hungry man size. Ah, uh -uh. take it easy. There's a way to, you know, to sit when you're in public. There's even a way to walk. Have you seen people that walk and they're just bumping into people? Bad manners. When you need to speak with somebody who is talking to someone else, okay, you need to say, excuse me, and then quickly say what you need to, and leave. Greet audibly. It's part of social etiquette. You know, some teenagers just be like, hmm, hmm. When, you're doing, when your parents now ask you, can't you greet? I greeted. Who did you greet that did not hear? I'm not saying you should scream, oh. I'm just saying is greet audibly and you know you have greeted when you have been answered something else you can do is carry yourself like someone that knows where they are going especially when you're in public do not do not be the one that wants to take over the conversations do not be the one that you know wants to just have the center of attraction everywhere they go publicly Please wait to be asked before you speak. That's part of knowing that you know that you're a person of value. You don't need to struggle to prove a point, okay? So wait for your turn before you speak. Wait for your turn before you pass through a door. Have you seen teenagers struggle to pass a door with you, an adult? Oh my God, they want to just push you. you know, they're always in the hurry. You guys are so tall. You're so big. You're so, you know take it easy it's part of social etiquette Actually, when you're going into a lift wait for the people in there to come out first and then you go in when you see elders you know people that are older than you carrying luggage and stuff it's good manners to help or at least ask to help you know what i mean okay so the next time you're out there in public I want you to be conscious of social etiquette. I want you to just calm down. Yes, I know you're in a hurry. I know you, you know you're lively and you can't wait. You're impatient. I want you to be conscious of it. That social etiquette is how responsible you should be in public. Social etiquette is you displaying good manners. When you do this. I see you rising to the top. I see you being referred to as that well-mannered girl, that well-cultured boy. 